Hello friends! Welcome back to the Husky Squad Doggo Life channel. I'm Victoria, Nikolai, Yuna, and Ki Murray are hanging out with me for this video. And today we're going to be reviewing the harness we've been using for the Husky Squad for almost four years now. If you like dog lifestyle videos, dog product reviews, and everything related to the dog lifestyle, be sure to subscribe to this channel right now, turn on the notification bell so you never miss a single video we post here. I'd like for you to stick around to this entire video because I'll be sharing with you the key features why we love this harness and why it's so great to be used as an all-around harness for your dog and also how we keep it looking like new for all those years. Also, I'll be sharing with you the pros and cons of using this type of harness for your dog. And also, as always, with every single video we share on Doggo Life, we have links in the description of this video where you can purchase the harness and where you can read more about the products we share here. We've tested so many harnesses over the years, but after we test each one, we tend to come back to this all-purpose harness for the Husky Squad, and we absolutely love it. Even Nikolai over here, he's got his own harness now, since we adopted him about a year ago, and he loves this harness every time he sees it, while well, all of them, they all get so excited because they know it's adventure time. Okay, so here are the 10 key features what we love about this all-purpose harness. This is an all-purpose harness. It's great for hiking, for traveling, for adventuring, for light jogging, you name it. This harness covers everything, even in urban environments. It's wonderful. Number two. This is a very affordable harness and we get a lot of messages from people asking about what harness can I use for my puppy, my dog is growing. This is a good harness to use even for younger stages and these adjustable straps over here makes it easier to adjust to your dog and if you really have to, you can get another one and it won't break the bank. Number three. This harness comes in so many colors, you're guaranteed to find one that you like. Actually, I have quite a few colors. I'm guilty of it because I like to have it for different pictures, different seasons. This is our neutral one, always works, but I really like having multiple options. Number four, durability. This harness has been used, it's been through everything from hiking to traveling all across the US, even in Europe. And this harness lasts even with Huskies and everyone knows Huskies pull really hard but the hardware and the way this harness is built it's pretty much almost indestructible especially for this gentleman over here because he's a youngster and he pulls really really hard. Number five, this harness is fur repellent. Nobody wants a harness to look at with tons of fur stuck to it and the materials that they use on this harness keeps the fur off of it. Number six, the padding. This harness has nice light padding in there. It's not really rough against their chest. And I really like that. Actually, almost the entire harness is, is padded, but I really like especially that it's on their chest. Number seven, this quick grab handle on this harness. I really like having that because it's great in case of an emergency, but it's great to pull your pup anytime close to you. And I really love that this harness has it. It's also strong, it's nicely sewn into the harness itself. So it's been solid for years, no matter how much I use it and grab it when I need to. Number eight, the metal rings on this harness. Believe it or not, I've seen and experienced and tested harnesses that the most important part of the harness, this ring, is actually plastic. I can't believe that, but it happens. So this metal ring is so critical because you attach the leash to this and having this in metal, having this be so strong is so critical. And I really like that both of the rings here are metal. The plastic buckles are fine, they're actually pretty strong, but this is an absolute must have in metal. Number nine, this ring in the front of the chest. This is wonderful, you can use it to help you aid in training your dog not to pull this part of the harness on the chest but obviously you're going to want to focus on training 
but I really like having this as an additional tool, especially when I'm just starting to train a dog, like this mister over here, because he's a really big puller. You good boy, Nikolai. You're such a sweet boy. And number 10. This harness has sewn in reflectives. You can't see it during the day, but the entire harness is stitched with a reflective fabric. So if you're exposed to a car at night and you're walking your pup in the winter days when it gets dark at night, you will know and feel safe that your dog is visible at night with these reflective materials. And the crazy thing is, is that we've used it for so long and it's not worn off and the entire harness all the way around the back, the sides, the chest, all has the reflective material sewn into it. So these were the 10 pros of using this affordable, wonderful, durable harness. Are there any cons with this harness? To be honest, not really. There are not many cons. However, this is not a sports harness. This is not, this is an adventure harness. This is an all around great harness, but this is not a harness to go ski joring and bike joring and running really hard. You want something different, something that is built for that sport to alleviate the, chest, the pressure on the chest. But this is such a great harness. There are no cons when it comes to all around use. I really, really like that. Even though we are testing some really great adventure harness that I can't share, can't wait to share with you, these harnesses will always be with us as a nice all around harness and to have a backup in the car because you know you can forget those sometimes too at this affordable price it's a wonderful tool to have for all around everyday use if you're excited about us testing new sport harnesses x bag harnesses let us know in the comments below we want to know if this subject interests you because we are going to train nikolai to be doing bike joring he already knows how to do it she loves it but he's gonna be learning. And if you're interested to know more about those type of harnesses, let us know so we can share that with you. So how come we have a harness that looks like brand new even though after using it for years? Well, it's really simple. And this is another thing I really love about this harness. We take off all the tags or whatever we have on there we throw it in the wash, literally in the laundry, on a gentle cycle, on a warm or a cool temperature, not freezing cold, but something in between. Warm is fine too. And you add a couple of towels, you know, especially the dog towels that we use, adventure towels that we actually, I believe, reviewed already on Doggo Life. You can check it out, it's here on this channel. And then you wash them all together on a gentle cycle. Make sure you give it a nice spin too. You want it to spin and dry out well. And then you just hang dry it. And we do this all the time. And this harness totally handles it. And I really, really like that. I never have to worry about it getting damaged in the wash. And I cannot count how many times these harnesses have been put in the wash. And it's just so much nicer to have a clean harness for your dog. All right, so you may be wondering if this harness or any kind of harness will stop your dog from pulling. The short answer is yes and no. You can use this harness and possibly other harnesses to help you with training your dog, but the foundation to a dog not pulling is not just a tool, it's also the training and how you work with your dog. We've been working with the Husky Squad for many, many years. They know when to pull. They know when they have to walk side by side, especially when you travel in urban environments, you don't want them to be all over the place and pulling you really hard. So the training aspect is so, so important. And so many of you have been asking us how we've been doing it. How come we can walk with the Husky Squad anywhere and they don't pull? Because they have been trained to understand the difference when they walk side by side and when they pull ahead. On the trail, we like for them to pull on the running trail we love running with them so it's more important to go through the training than just depending on a tool 100 percent but these tools will help you along the way for training and upcoming courses that we are doing for the husky squad based on all your requests be sure you go check out huskysquad.com where we teach you and pass you along all the ways how we work with these pups to train them and have a calm life by the time you watch this video, the course may already be out. If it's not out, be sure to reserve your seat on huskysquad.com. I'll leave a link here and you'll be able to join and be part of that. 
If you want to see us using this harness and all the other products we review here on Doggo Life, be sure you go check out our main channel, Husky Squad, here on YouTube, and you'll find all of the inspiring adventures there. As far as this harness, I'll leave a link in the description of this video, and you can always find everything we're doing here on Doggo Life on huskysquad.com. So, look out for a video on this tool. We've been asked a lot of questions about the system and leashes and everything related to how we attach the harness to ourselves and to the pups. I'll have a dedicated video here on Doggo Life, so be sure to look out for this one. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time on Doggo Life. Bye!